الحمد للہ وقفا وصلاۃ علیٰ نبی بعد اما بعد بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ریسپیکٹڈ کمیونٹی ممبرس السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ کریٹڈ آس اونلی فار ون پرپس ٹو سرو ہیم الون ایز اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ سے زند قرآن وما خلق الجن و الانس اللہ نے آبدون I have not created mankind and jinn but to serve me alone. How we serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by believing in him, praising him, doing worship by worshiping him and following his commandments. A person comes closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by all ibadats what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed upon us. what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made obligation upon us. As uh, one of the hadith Qudsi, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that my servant comes closer to me by what I, whatever I have obligated upon him. And my servant keeps on coming closer to me by nawafils. عبدی یا تقرب و علیہ بن نوافل مائی سرون کمس کلوزر ٹو می بائی نوافل نوافلس کڈ بی پریئر کڈ بی فاسٹنگ نوافلس اور حج نوافلس اور صدقاتس اور یو کین نیم اٹ اینڈ آلسو از انکلوڈنگ نوافل ایکشنس نوافل ایکشنس مینس بینگ والنٹیئر سو Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that my servant comes closer to me by volunteer actions. And these volunteer actions could be many. We can define ourselves that uh, this is I'm doing only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not incumbent upon me, uh, but I take out my schedule, I take out time from my schedule, busy schedule, and uh, uh, I will be serving human being, the, you know, the service of humanity. This is a great, really great action. Um, you know, it's not for the name or fame, it's not for any material reward, uh, it's not for any position or any power. The person does only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That really is great. Uh, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, in the Qur'an وَيُطْعِمُونَ الطُعَامَ عَلَىٰ حُبِّهِ مِسْكِينًا وَيَتِيمًا وَأَسِيرًا إِنَّمَا نُطْعِمُكُمْ لِوَجْهِ اللَّهِ لَا نُرِيدُ مِنْكُمْ جَزَاءً وَلَا شُكُورًا What it means, those who feed people وَيُطْعِمُونَ الطُعَامَ عَلَىٰ حُبِّهِ Out of their love Miskeen and orphans and the captives Saying this, that uh, we are not feeding you for any reward We are not expecting any reward from you. We are feeding you and we are doing this only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we do not expect any reward from you, even not thanks. We don't expect even thanks from you. So what it means, a person does purely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah loves that. And because of that, a person comes closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters in Islam, month of Ramadan is... a uh, great month and uh, we do need to do something extra uh, you know being volunteer and uh, you know as we serve our community uh, community service whether we are uh, at the masjid uh, taking care of the parking uh, just helping people in iftar distributing food cleaning Or just give you one more example, as right now we are, are recording and the brother is doing volunteer and this is great, really great. He uh, is making sure to uh, convey the message of truth, uh, convey the message of Quran in the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to our brothers and sisters. So our community needs our services and our center, our masjid needs our services. And it's not only we restrict our services to our Muslim brothers and sisters, what about others, our neighbors, our fellow beings, our co-workers, uh, anyone, uh, the one who needs our service, and if we provide our services, that will be uh, really great. And in this way, will be effective to convey the message of truth towards others. So brothers and sisters, just keep in your mind, 
month of Ramadan is a great month and uh, reward is tremendous and we should not take it light. Even the smallest thing that we do with the consistency, لا تحقرن من المعروف شيئا Do not take it light. Even the smallest thing, even the smiling, uh, giving a smile to your brothers, giving a smile on someone. So this is also the great thing. And uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadats and accept our uh, siyam and all our du'as. Uh, the last thing that I would like to also share with you, that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has set it up the criteria of being uh, most uh, beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, خَيْرُ nas مَنْ يَنْفَعُ nas." The best among you are those who are beneficial to others. Uh, Rasulullah sallallahu did not serve this criteria. The best among you are those who are praying more or fasting more frequently or giving uh, or performing more hajj. Uh, the best among you are those who are beneficial to others. We should try our best to be more productive and to be more beneficial, uh, whether to human beings, and even the animals and the birds, this is also counted. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our efforts and all those brothers and sisters, uh, those are taking out their time and uh, serving the humanity, serving community, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept their service. This is time to make dua. Amin alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa la aqibatu lil muttaqeen wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Allahumma rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta sami'un alim wa tubu alayna ya mawlana innaka anta attawabur rahim Allahumma rabbana faghfil lana thunubana wa kaffir anna sayyiatina wa tawaffana ma'al abarar Ya Aziz, Ya Ghaffar, Ya Rabbana Adameen. Allahumma Rabbana la tuakhidna in nasina aw akhtu'ana. Rabbana wa la tahmin alayna isqran kama hamaltahu ala alladheena min qablina. Rabbana wa la tuhammilna ma la taqata lana bih. Wa'afu anna wa aghfil lana wa nuhamna. Anta mawlana fansunna ala alqawm alkafirin. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we thank you. Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are giving us opportunity to fast in the month of Ramadan. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we thank you that you have allowed us to fast and to pray and to make du'as. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, accept all our ibadats. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, accept all our fasting and the du'as. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the blessing of the month of Ramadan. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, have mercy upon us all. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgive us, our parents, our beloved ones, those who are no longer with us. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask you, Allah, all your brothers and sisters, those who are doing volunteer, O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in any form or shape, whether they are doing in our community, O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, on outside the community, whatever work they, they, so they are doing only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, accept their efforts. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bless them with ajri azim. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reward them in this world, in the life of hereafter. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make this, Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, their efforts, uh, source for their forgiveness. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, accept our du'as. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where our Muslim ummah is suffering. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask you, Ya Allah, remove their sufferings, and especially brothers and sisters in Gaza, we cannot forget them. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask you, Ya Allah, make it easy for everyone. Those who are doing oppression, O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, stop them uh, from this oppression. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give them hidayah. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if hidayah is not in their luck, O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, destroy them all. O Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, save us all from any kind of difficulties and problems. Allahumma rabbana tuqabbal minna. إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على رسول خير خلقي محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين برحمتك يا رحمة الله